Hi, this is Rick Pedley, and welcome to PK Safety Supply. Today we're going to be looking at the BW Gas Alert Max XT2 Confined Space Gas Detector. It's a pumped instrument. What we're going to co cover today is the calibration. Simple. We've got all the stuff here. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Okay, so now we've got the unit turned on. You can hear the pump running. Uh, it, we're just in normal running mode, just, uh, just like it's warmed up. And so what I'm going to do is introduce cal gas. Now we'll kind of cover what we've got here. First, a cylinder of calibration gas. This has all four gases in it. Uh, the hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, oxygen, and then the explosive gas, or LEL. On top, I have a uh, regulator. Now this is a constant flow regulator, and it puts out a half liter per minute. This is the one that comes in the kit. And this one happens to be made by Portagas. Uh, there are, uh, BW does use other ones from time to time. Um, but when we turn this on, it's going to flow the gas through this tube and into the, out the end, which we're going to attach to the instrument. So first thing that I'm going to do, now that I'm ready to go, I've got everything here, is I'm going to press this button. It's important when you're doing this, you press and hold this button. So I'm going to press it in and hold it. And it's counting down, off, three, two, one. The screen goes blank. But then it comes back up with cal in one, two, three. Now I can release this, and it's auto zeroing. Important that we do this in an area of clean air. And now it says apply gas. So first thing I'm going to do is turn on the cylinder of gas. The gas is now flowing. I take this hose and I attach it with a quick connector. And immediately the reading starts to rise. And this is in response to the gas. And it's going to come to a, very close to the, what's listed in this cylinder. After a period of time, which is approximately a minute, uh, the unit's going to self-adjust to the exact specifications that are on this cylinder. And this is a cylinder they intend for you to use. Now, calibration is kind of an interesting thing. Um, if you OSHA, if you follow the rules exactly, I think would have you calibrate this unit every day. Um, most of our utility customers, that is people who use these things day in and day out, they, they may go for a week or even a month. Um, but if you're the type of user that um, only um, fires up the instrument occasionally, let's say once a month or something like that for a job, I would suggest that you strongly consider calibrating it every time. This is a life-saving instrument, and really the only way to know that it's working appropriately is by putting cal gas across the unit. Um, now, this is going to take about two minutes as it goes through its cycle here. This regulator flows a half liter per minute, so we're going to use about a liter of gas. The cylinder here, which is the one that comes in their kit, contains 34 liters. You should get, you know, about 30 calibrations out of that cylinder. So we'll just let this run and come back to it. All right, so uh, calibration is done. Uh, we're all set there. We can now, it's going to tell me to remove this thing. Essentially, it's gone into alarm because the cal process is over with. So, what I'll do now is just remove this hose off of here and turn off the gas. This is kind of important. Don't forget that because this gas is ridiculously expensive. So, now the, the readings are now going back to zero uh, as, the, as the sensors have been flushed with new air now. So we're reading zero across the two toxics and the LEL and 20.9 in the O2. The instrument is now calibrated and ready to go. The cal has now been reset on this uh, as a countdown from 180 days. I don't recommend that you wait 180 days to calibrate this instrument, but that's the way the factory sends it. Um, that's all there is to it. Pretty simple. Thanks a lot.